couple of these have to do with some questions we got from a couple of viewers who saw some news articles about the market and about interest rates and about home buying. And the first one was an article that I actually saw myself as well. And it was a, a news story about uh, Barbara Corcoran. You may have heard of her. She's a celebrity basically these days. She's on Shark Tank. She's uh, got a history. She's been in the real estate business forever. And in this article where she was being interviewed, uh, she made an interesting prediction, and that was that she thinks that in not in the not too dear, uh, not too distant future, that home prices may actually go up quite a bit, or as she said, go through the roof. I don't know if that pun was intended or not. Uh, so why was that, or why was it that she predicted that? Well, first, of course, she described the current um, kind of uh, standoff that there, we have in the market. Uh, sellers are not selling their homes because most of them have very low interest rates on their current home. Buyers are kind of on the uh, sidelines waiting for either interest rates or home prices or both to fall. So we have this bottleneck. We have this standoff, as she described it. So why is it she thinks that with th those conditions, home prices could go through the roof soon? Well, she points out, and I think she may have, have something here. Rates are going to fall. In fact, when I was at this conference last week, that was a common uh, theme, that rates are going to fall. Just a question of when. Could be late this year. Certainly, most market uh, observers are thinking that mortgage rates, interest rates are going to fall in 2024. So her point is, when, if that happens and when it happens, and I think she believes it will happen, that's going to do a couple of things. It's going to bring not just buyers into the market, but sellers as well. Now, if you have both buyers and sellers getting back into the market because rates have fallen, particularly with the amount of buyers we have, the amount of pent up demand that we have, that will probably mute any potential price reductions on homes, given that the inventory of homes for sale should increase. Why? Because there's such overwhelming demand that in reality, home prices, if they, they've already moderated slightly, but they're not going to collapse because lower rates is going to bring so much demand into the market from buyers that even with more inventory, that's going to help prop up home values. And in fact, in her view, and I tend to agree with her, this could actually be a situation where home values could go up quite a bit, you know, 20% or through the roof, maybe, maybe not, but certainly it's going to go up from here. So you know, the other thing she pointed out, of course, is that home prices do vary and they have fluctuated, but they vary geographically. There's parts of the U.S. where home prices haven't really fallen at all in the Southwest, Florida, Texas. There's parts of California, certainly in Orange County and L.A. County. Um, we're still seeing transactions where uh, homes listed for sale of the price right or getting multiple offers and sometimes uh, being sold over list. So the, the home price and market trends vary greatly from a, a geographical standpoint. So you got to keep that in mind. There's no catastrophic collapse in home prices coming. Why? Home um, home buyer or I'm sorry, home owners are highly leveraged. They got lots of equity, very low interest rate on their existing mortgage, and there's no foreclosures. So with that, you know, the foreclosure supply that we had back 15 years ago, there's no catastrophic housing market collapse that's coming. I don't see one on the horizon. She didn't either. <coughs> Excuse me. So now, given her prediction, and if she's right about this, what should buyers do? Frankly, what should buyers and sellers do, but in particular buyers? Well, in my opinion, buyers should reconsider holding off on a, on a purchase, waiting for rates to fall or waiting for home prices to fall, mostly because while I think they may be right about interest rates falling at some point, uh, with home values probably not falling, they're better off getting into the marketplace now and try to use some of the tools we have. We've talked about them before, you know, temporary buy downs, permanent rate buy downs. Use those as tools to get into the market. Look for a home to buy now. When you make your offer, try to include in that offer a uh, request to get some seller help to buy down your rate, either on a temporary basis, two to two one, three to one or a permanent basis. That way it gets you into home ownership. Now it gets you into home ownership with a below market rate. And then that buys you time to wait for rates to fall, at which point you can uh, refinance your note rate into a much lower note rate uh, for a long-term position. 
So, and then by doing that, you'll have an opportunity to take advantage of that upward rise in home values if you get in now. So I would highly encourage buyers in particular, reconsider that strategy of holding off and consider getting in the market now, you know, contact us, get with your agent. Let's talk about ways that we can structure an offer to get you some below market interest rate for your purchase. That way you can get into home ownership sooner than later. And then if Barbara Corker and the Shark Tank is correct, ride that wave of upward home values into the future. And then as rates fall, you can refinance into a lower note rate. It can be a win-win for you. So I strongly urge any buyers out there in particular, reconsider your strategy. Maybe sitting on the sidelines isn't the best move right now and uh, try to consider getting into the market and uh, get a get a home, uh, you know, uh, owned by yourself, uh, you know, be able to take advantage of those rates and move forward. So.